so with the new patch we will see more problems appear. There is or will be by the time you see this video, emergence and maintenance for the game. Today we covered a few issues we know right now as to why this maintenance is happening. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So guys there is or was emergency maintenance today because of a few problems since the latest 1.04 patch, the massive patch, the one that fixes many many problems. But with it it brought other problems, mainly people signing into Xbox it seems to be a major complaint. I haven't myself had a single issue here, but going by my Twitter feed it is full of people struggling to get on. Now this maintenance will cause half an hour downtime or will have caused half an hour downtime earlier today, which we hope will sort these problems out. So the reason behind the maintenance they said via a tweet was for two reasons, an issue with killing spree and a time it takes to revive players. Now I do know that the killing spree mod did receive a stealth nerf, taking its timer down from 20 seconds to 10. I saw people complaining about this stealth nerf and to be honest guys we are sick of them. But they said it was an unintended change and it's why it wasn't in the patch notes and why it's going to be fixed within this maintenance. So after the maintenance you should be back to normal people. Although I'd love to know how they unintendedly changed this kind of mod without affecting time and cooldowns on a broader scale. But they are doing the right thing in either way. We don't like stealth nerfs. We just don't like them. They need to know this. So for the people having problems with Xbox, they tweeted out the following. For any Xbox users who are unable to sign in since the maintenance, please try clearing your cache. Please power cycle your console by clearing your cache by turning your console off completely, not rest mode. Then unplug it for a few minutes, this step is important, and then try again. For me, just hold the power button in for 10 seconds on my Xbox Series X, normally does the job, but if that don't work, do what they say here. So yes people, I thought I'd bring you an update on what's actually happening or what's happened. Hopefully when I stream later tonight the game is in a better place, but we will see if it isn't. Let me know if you've encountered any other issue down below since this patch has come out guys. I'm pretty sure there will be more problems coming and appearing over the coming days, but we will see. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.